Well, hello, brothers and sisters. So it's a new day. Today is Thursday, March 7th. I'm chilling out here at the park again. Kind of a daily routine for me. Find a peaceful, shady spot and conduct my business. So I'm gonna be making a little meal for myself. I'm gonna use this can of tuna as well as some mayonnaise and relish and hot sauce and some 22 whole grain seed bread, which I love bread like this. I don't I, I don't hate plain bread, but I really like some bread with a little pizzazz, a little crunch. Um, and I also got this bag of chips that I only bought last night to soothe Amethyst while we were in the store. She wanted something to chew on and I wouldn't let her chew on the oil filter box or the bottle of Rain-X or the sandpaper. So I grabbed her a bag of chips and I don't really give her chips like that. I mean, I would, but I'd like to not be driving and be able to supervise her with chips like that. So I didn't let her eat the chips. I gave her some other chips and then she fell asleep. So I'm gonna use them on the sandwich. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, I got this vacuum from Amazon. It's just like 40 bucks. And it doubles as an air duster with the vent out of the back. So there's some little attachments that kind of create a fine stream of air to dust things out. But I've been using it all morning and this thing actually works really well for what it is. It charges with USB type C. Um, holds a pretty decent charge. I don't think I fully charge it. It says it takes three and a half hours to fully charge and then you get 30 minutes of use. Um, I don't think I fully charged it, but I definitely killed it while I was vacuuming. I'm just vacuuming everywhere. I, I haven't vacuumed this thing at all since I bought it. Um, and then the front just twists off and the filter's in there. And you pop the filter out and empty all the stuff. And like I say, it works really well for what it is. I haven't used the duster feature yet, but I really like the size of the unit. I mean, it's about the size of a weapon, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, comfortable to hold. It has a bunch of different attachments. Um, this isn't all of them, but it has a bunch of different attachments to, you know, like with brushes and then some nozzle points and then like a carpet one, you know, with a big rectangle on the front. So it works really well. I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I went for this. So I know this probably doesn't look amazing, but we got it all mixed up. It doesn't look like tuna anymore, <laughs> but it looks like something else. But it smells pretty good, so. I'm gonna get it on the bread here and get some chips on it. And I don't know, this might make two. We'll have to see. So as you can see, we did make two. So time to get the chips on there and get some more bread out. <laughs> There's lunch, boys and girls. <laughs> Not freaking bad. A lot of protein. This was important. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. First time doing something like this in the back of the van. So, wanted to bring you all with me. Hope you're eating good today. Much love. Can't forget the green tea. So it's a couple hours later. She's back. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain the whole situation because it's not really important. But I got my baby with me. So we're about to hit the family dollar and get a few cans. I'm the god of making something amazing out of a few cans. So I'm gonna use my hot pot. So we're cooking today. I made the tuna fish sandwich earlier. And that was wonderful. It filled me up. I'm just now starting to feel a little bit hungry. Been doing squats and stuff while we've been at the we've been at the park for like three hours. She swang for like an hour maybe, and then she decided to walk around and cover her legs in wood chips, which she's never done before. So I'm glad she's branching out. Um, I think I'm gonna get some chicken and rice, some cut potatoes, and some uh, tomatoes and okra. 
and mix that up. And um, hopefully I can acquire the assistance of my younger sister for some of my seasonings that I left at her residence. Get it right. I got some pink Himalayan salt, but that's it. So here's what we're working with this evening, y'all. So I got the hot pot. I got what I said, tomatoes and okra, diced potatoes, and some chicken and rice. And we're about at the max level for this, for the hot pot. Um, you can see it says max right there, but I still need to stir it up. But, um, got her watching some Sesame Street. I'm gonna let her run around now that I've got this together. I just didn't want her, because I don't have a can opener, so I had to make it work. <laughs> but we got it. So I'm gonna let her play now and wait for this to simmer down. This thing works great. So I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, cool down, and then we're gonna have some din din, right? Hungry? Yeah. So here we are, it's the next morning. I don't think I took any video of us eating because we were just eating. So I got the van all cleaned up, taken care of, Tinky in some new clothes, and some cookies. Somebody gave me that. <laughs> got the bed all made up, got everything. Oh, I need to close these pipes. So yeah, we're gonna go to 7-Eleven, get some tea, get some toilet, and get some taquitos. The three teas of the morning. So yeah, front's clear, except for her baby bag. Lunchbox with condiments and utensils and plastic bags and things like that in there. Got my crystal wrapping box right here. My crystal's up there. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna take it and put it down here so it doesn't fall. And I got some Rain-X glass cleaner, two in one the other day, so I can coat these windows and not need the wipers so much. So that'll help. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the little process. Blessings. This is when I edit. Just in case you guys were wondering, this is pretty much when I edit videos while she's swimming, so. Alrighty everyone, so it's actually the next evening. Yesterday, kind of funky. So um, we were at the park yesterday morning, as I was, as I, I believe that's the last clip, where I was editing, drinking my tea, and a lady walked up to me and asked me to call her an Uber. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so I told her, yeah, Uber doesn't work like that. You have to download the app. She's like, oh, well, I don't have Wi-Fi. I'm like, okay, well, I can let you use my hotspot. It was taking forever to download. So I'm like, you know, I can just take you there. You can just pay me instead of Uber. She's like, yeah, yes, yes. And so I took her, what, about five miles away, so like that. She gave me 10 bucks. And her car is in the shop. She doesn't know what's wrong with it. I just, I took her there again this morning and I just picked her up and dropped her off. Um, so that's helping my pockets a little bit. I also sold something on the marketplace today. Still trying to figure out stuff with the van. It's still acting a little funky. Um, I think it's the knock sensor, but I'm still not exactly sure. So there's a bypass that I can do at the ECU, which is the engine computer to basically trick it into thinking that it's the other one which isn't giving me a uh, trouble code. So I think I'm gonna do that just to make sure that it is a knock sensor because to change the knock sensor, I have to take apart a whole bunch of stuff on the motor, knock sensor on a V6. If you wanna know, look it up. It's a job and I don't wanna do it for no reason. I mean, you know, likely it needs to be done. I mean, this car's had maintenance done but it's had like basic maintenance done. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite the bullet and do it, but I don't wanna do it. There's few people that have dealt with this exact thing, but most of them changed the parts that I changed and fixed it. So that's kind of where my head is at. It's like, what do I actually need to do to fix this? The baby's back here asleep. She fell asleep on the way back from taking the lady home. So I'm about to park up here and um, call it a night early. Try and get some good sleep. What are we gonna do, you all? We're gonna persevere, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep trying our hardest to do better every day. No matter what the scenario is, no matter what, no matter what, 
we're always going to persevere. That's the point of it all. All right, y'all. So it's the next day, and I got somebody coming to buy a set of speakers for me today. I got a new code today. Now, since I bought this van, my coolant gauge has never hit halfway. It barely passes a quarter. So I think this thing, it runs cool, right? Well, heat doesn't work. The AC works phenomenal, but the heat doesn't work. So I'm thinking it might be a little low on coolant, which is not posing what seems as an issue, but I did get a code basically indicating that the thermostat might be bad. So that's something else that we probably gonna do pretty soon here is change the coolant and the thermostat. I don't know how old this coolant is. It kind of gives me a little insight as well as to what might be causing these issues. But still running just fine. It's just not doing amazing on gas because of the misfire. The misfire causes fuel to be not burnt, not used. So it's kind of getting wasted. Got the baby some some Taco Bell this morning, some breakfast burrito. She smashed the whole thing by herself. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> Just holding the burrito, taking bites off of it. It makes me think that she's older than she is. You know, I can tell she's been here before. You know, if you, if you know what I'm saying. But um, we'll take her to the park. I want to take her back to the park. We was there for a couple of minutes before we picked the lady up. The time change happened today. That kind of screwed me around. I'm, I'm sitting there and all of a sudden it's say 10 o'clock. And I'm like, it was just 9 o'clock. Like, what's going on? I'm setting up an Amazon wish list. I got the list started. I'm just got to figure out how to, how to get the link posted down there in the comments. So... I'm not asking for nobody to buy the expensive stuff because like I got a solar panel in there. A lot of people say that it provides more power than is advertised, which is a big plus and that it's good for the money. And the customer service is great with this company as well. So I think I know that that's the one I want to go with. We're going to go spend some time at the park, wait on Buddy to pull up and pick up these speakers. And uh, I think I'm going to get this video out to y'all pretty soon. Yeah, I know. We're going to go play. We're going to go play. I'm gonna get this video out to y'all real soon here. I don't want it to just sit. I got the rest of it edited already, so. Much love to everybody that's viewing, all the new subscribers. So we're up at the park right now. I just sold this set of speakers that I had. So I wanted to show y'all this. I feel like something biting me on the foot. So I built this yesterday. I don't know if y'all seen the first video, but I had that extra piece. And so I just took it and cut an L in it so it would fit up against the one by three of the bed frame. Got two going in right there, same as the other side. And just got a little shelf up here. So I'm gonna end up putting another shelf closer to the bottom, like around here, something like that. I'm gonna try to put like books right here. And then this is kind of just for overnight storage type deal. I got this, which has three USB ports on the side and a switch over here to turn it on and off so i think i'm gonna mount that on the other side over here and um i can have a place to set can you not honk the horn please so i have a place to set my phone and stuff like that you know glasses things like that overnight um but yeah i kind of just want to show you all this show y'all what we're working with i corner these not beautiful but they'll eventually get covered with something I, I found some like stick and peel and stick tiles at Dollar Tree that I think I want to cover this with. Um, also, not going to allow the bed to come out. As you can see, I got them pretty close to the door frame. There's still space inside when I close the door. Actually, let me show you that. In here. Come on. Yeah, so I still got space to go back. So like I said, I'm probably gonna put a shelf like around down here closer to the bed and extend it as far in as I can to make like a little bookshelf. And then like I said, we'll have space for knickknacks. I want to keep it open like this. So what I'm probably gonna do is drill some small holes and put some elastic just for anything that like stands up that could easily fall down. And yeah, so we're doing good right now. Um, 
got a little more space now that those speakers are gone. Um, the lady that I'm taking to work, she sits up here and her feet, she just, she said I don't need to move it. Because I was moving it every time that she got in. And she's like, no, just leave it there. So, I don't have to move that out of the way. So, we got a good amount more space in here now. And I reorganized what's up here in the top. So, there's more space up there as well. So I built that shelf last night just as I was waiting, kind of killing time before I went and picked up the lady. Um, and I wanted to make sure I got it in this video since I didn't record any of me doing it. It's also not exactly permanent. Um, I did it so that I can remove it if I need to, but also in the future, um, I can use this as a template to create something better or I can just use it as a foundation to put something stronger and more stable in there. <laughs> so um, that means that it's time to go play some more. The hug means it's time to go play some more. <laughs> so I'm going to catch you guys later. I appreciate all the new subscribers, everybody that's liking and commenting. Much love to you all. So this is Van Life Ken signing off. Peace. <laughs>